HCL Tech and Google Cloud have expanded their partnership to unlock the value of data powered by Google Cloud's generative AI technologies. I think it's interesting that like a lot of the big players in cloud are integrating generative AI across like all their applications at the minute. I mean, we saw the same from Microsoft and Copilot going across all their kind of 365 applications. I suppose the next big question is what happens to the job market with more AI being integrated across every part of our lives? Where does it stop? Who knows? Does it start taking people's jobs? I think it'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, the creation of obviously ChatGPT was a massive thing and a lot of copywriting jobs already look as if they're going to be taken over. The development of things like the Photoshop AI and Midjourney and other programs like that, it questions the safety of designers. Yeah, I don't think it's quite there yet. Within copywriting, you certainly need to check the text. It talks a lot of nonsense. I can't imagine a design produced by AI like fulfilling the brief as well, just yet. Like I'm sure there's a time in the future when it's going to be way better, but right now, like it doesn't have the same understanding. It doesn't have the same je ne sais quoi. This phrase from French literally meaning I don't know what. I suppose with that as well, it's can you tell what's AI and what's not? I know that with some of the images we've seen generated by AI. They can't do hands, can they? (laughs) They can't really do faces, <laughs> depending on what you're looking at. There are there are some pretty poor image AIs out there. But I suppose even more than just from like a marketing and design standpoint, when we look at coding in ChatGPT, you could technically code a website, especially with ChatGPT4 and its capabilities. We then look at what's the future of infrastructure engineers when everything becomes more automated. There's a lot of factors and yes, you'll have to have people supervising this, but in the future, where does it stop? In the next five to 10 years, what jobs will we have? And will it be supervising and proofreading AI or will it be still doing the jobs and we see today, especially within tech. I'm sure for the time being, we're safe. All it's going to do is improve our productivity. I mean, I've been using ChatGPT to help me with my process to just produce more artwork more quickly because I'm able to feed ChatGPT some information. It can condense it down for me. And then I will take that bit of information and I'll, I'll rework it so, it so it works. Like I can't see a time soon that it'll be ready but like I don't know it kind of came out of nowhere didn't it so who knows you know it's because you look at 10 years ago in comparison to now and how quickly this has kind of developed and come about with AI and yes it's always been there to a degree but the fast track it's on now is crazy and will we see the same kind of projection with how mobile phones came about and that kind of technology really advanced in such a short period of time and obviously with AI there's such capabilities but it can potentially change the world. I don't know. It took me years to get my first phone with internet and a camera. (laughs) It it didn't seem like it advanced that quick at the time. (laughs) The equivalent, the internet was kind of a revolutionary technology that kind of changed our lives. AI, we're like at the very first sort of steps of it being a useful tool. It's interesting though, when you think about it as well, like, the different jobs it may also create when the internet kind of came around it was potentially the same kind of fears of will it what jobs is it going to take what jobs is it going to replace and yet here we are now with a whole new world of jobs we've got digital marketing we've got so many like cyber security jobs there's so many more jobs now that have been created because of the internet so will we have the same kind of outcome with ai who knows like people always adapt to the situation don't they can I something here? No. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> similar concerns people had with vending machines. Vending, vending machines. machines? Yes, with the coffee. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. Interesting, interesting. Stavros has just raised an interesting point. He said they had similar fears about people being replaced when vending machines got created. And, like, I can see that, right? I can see the fear. But... Looking at it is where we are now. I'd rather go to a barista to get a mm-hmm. coffee than get a coffee from a vending machine. Because it's like personal interaction. You know it's getting made like fresh. I think there's also a draw with people going to things like your corner shop and like farm shops and things like that. There's a personal touch there rather than it being a corporation at the front of it. And I think it's the same when you go back to some of these 
AI concerns. Innocent, the smoothie company, does it quite well. They currently have a Twitter competition going on. I say competition, it's just a poll. They have ChatGPT write some of their copy and they write some of it themselves and they compare the two and say, which one do you prefer? One of them was written by AI and one of them was written by us. And 90% of the time, the one written by the actual copywriters are innocent because they're normally a bit more relevant, they're a bit more funny, they're a bit more sarcastic. And it's not to say that AI won't get there. Yeah, no, and it, and it might already be. And you don't know what prompts they're feeding the um, the AI because they could be just be saying, give me a head in for this. Mm-hmm. Like a copywriter might have a, a, a million ideas, unless it's like the same brief. But then, a, then a, I guess copywriter's got like, Lots of other influences. There will always be a difference that you'll be able to tell to some extent, potentially, when it's a human touch and when it's not. And even if you can't tell directly from the copy or the design or the website or whatever it is that's produced by AI, knowing that you're working with a human for some reason, I feel like will be a draw for people. So whether your vending machine coffee is as good as your Starbucks coffee, you're still probably going to go to Starbucks and have that interaction because there's something special about that. Sponsored by Starbucks. (laughs) Not. (laughs) Well, it's been fascinating, Darcy. Thanks for joining me. Oh, no worries. You never know. This whole episode may have been written by AI and you would have no idea. Or would you? Comment below. (laughs) Like, share, comment. Thumbs up. That's for like. (laughs) 